Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about converting between linear systems, vector equations, and augmented matrices, and see that all three of these things are just three different ways of recording the same information or conveying the same facts. So to start with, I have a vector equation written here. We have a linear combination of four vectors on the left, x1 vector plus x2 vector, x3 and x4 is equal to some vector on the right. And our first step here is we're going to convert this into a linear, a system of linear equations involving x1, x2, x3 and x4. So to begin with, I want to be able to express uh, the things on the left hand side as a sum of vectors without uh, products. And so we can utilize the distribution factor vectors and say, all right, let's go ahead and move the variables on the outside into the vectors. So minus x3, minus 3x3, 3x3, plus 3x4, 5x4, 3x4, and all this equal to 4, 6, 6. All right? And so now on the left-hand side, what we just have is the sum of four vectors. And then we make a note of the fact that um, sum of vectors is coordinate-wise. So if I sum these together, what I get in the first coordinate is the sum of all of the first coordinates. Which is everything in the top row. And then I get the sum of the second coordinates. And finally the last coordinates. Now note that at this point, I just have two vectors, one vector on the left, one vector on the right. The vector on the left is um, expressed in terms of x1 through x4. The vector on the right are just constants. But we're claiming equality between the two vectors, which means each of the three entries must in fact be the same. And so this lets us say that x1 minus x2, 2x2 minus 3x3 plus 3x4, why that must be equal to 4. And so on with the other rows. And then 0x1 minus 3x2, 3x3 plus 3x4, that is 6 as well. So now we've taken our vector equation and we've converted it into a system of equations uh, with three different equations, linear equations, that must be satisfied in these four variables. So the last step then is to take this system of equations and record it as an augmented matrix. And we do so, we use the geometry or the layout of this system of equations to inform how this should go. What we want is to capture the essential information of the system. So what we're gonna get is a three by five matrix, three rows, five columns, each row signifies one of the equations. Each column signifies either a variable or the constants. So what we'll have is this first row, which corresponds to x1, x2, x3, x4. And we draw this bar here to separate the variables on the one side and the constants on the other. This is what 
the exist matrix augmented, and then the constants in the last column. And so now we have uh, three different expressions of the same uh, facts. We have our vector equation that we started off with. We have our system of linear equations that we achieved through our uh, vector algebra, and then we converted that into an augmented matrix. So what we're going to find throughout this course is that we'll often be given scenarios that look like one of these three situations. And it will be convenient for us to be able to convert between one of these expressions and other expressions in order to do something and then convert it back. And so this is a good skill to have throughout this course. All right. Thank you very much.